Hi, welcome to Yoga with Tracy. I'm Tracy. Today we have a hip opening yin yoga practice to improve flexibility and increase your range of movement. No props necessary, but you may like to grab a folded blanket, a couple of blocks or cushions, and when you're ready, meet me on the mat. Hi everyone. Let's begin today lying down on our backs. Start in a supine position, get your back nice and comfortable, neck in a neutral position. And stretching your arms overhead for a full body stretch from hands to feet. Begin to focus your attention on your breath. Long, slow, deep inhalations and long, slow, deep exhalations. Hug your knees into your chest and then bring your hands to rest on your knees. Extend the arms, then take the knees out wide and around and into centre for some knee circles. Breathing deeply into the body. Today it's all about increasing our range of motion in the hip area as we work on a variety of hip opening stretches throughout this practice. Coming back into stillness, Stretch your left leg along the mat. Bringing your right knee in towards your chest, grab the sole of the foot, your ankle, the back of the leg, and draw the knee in towards your armpit. Try and keep the left leg as straight as you can, pushing the heel into the floor, which will deepen this posture. Observe your breath, breathing in and out of the nose as you relax deeper over time. Usually in yin, we let gravity do most of the work, but in this deep hip opener called Half Happy Baby, we're actually using our arm strength. In today's yin practice, we'll be holding each posture for around two and a half minutes. It doesn't matter how flexible you are, yin can adapt to suit all body types. We're looking to find our edge. At first, you may feel some tugging or some tightness, but after a few moments, the sensation will start to change and a feeling of opening as your body moves deeper into the pose. Don't become impatient, move slowly, and then find stillness. After explaining each pose, I will remain silent so you can drop inwards. Let your mind still and embrace the silence of yin yoga. Releasing your right leg, we're going to repeat on the other side. Stand in your right leg on the mat. Drawing your left knee in towards your chest and taking the modification that's right for you today. Relax your head and shoulders down to the floor and keeping the right leg as straight as you can, pushing the heel into the floor. Observe your breath long slow inhalations and long slow exhalations. Enjoy the movement and stay connected to your breath.
releasing your left leg, bending both knees, feet flat on the floor. Take the feet out as wide as the mat, I'm going to counter pose with windscreen wipers. Hands can be resting on your belly, inhaling and as you exhale drop your knees over to the right. Inhaling back to centre and exhaling over to the left. Repeating twice more on each side. Inhaling as you come back to centre and exhaling as you drop the knees over. Coming back to centre, we're going to roll over onto one side, pushing yourself up. We're going to begin on our hands and knees. If you are finding it uncomfortable on the knees, you can place a folded blanket underneath or you can double up the mat. Step in the left foot forward between the hands and walk the foot forward until the knee is over the heel and slide in the back knee as far back as you can with the top of the foot on the floor. To soften the posture, you can place blocks under your hands. For a deeper stretch, place both hands inside the front foot and move the foot a few inches towards the edge of the mat. Walk your hands forwards, lowering the hips. And for more depth, come down onto your elbows. Once you've found your edge, work to find stillness. Avoid fidgeting or moving around as best you can in order to release into the posture. Listen to your body. If you feel any pain, you've pushed too hard. Back out of the pose, the sensation ceases. In Ying, we're working on the connective tissues rather than our muscles. So move slowly and take care. Making any small adjustments is fine. Your body will take a few moments to relax into the posture. But then refocus back on the breath. Just be present here, in the moment. Releasing slowly out of the posture, coming back onto your hands and knees. We're going to repeat on the other side. Stepping your right foot between your hands, sliding the back knee backwards as far as you can go, and then coming into a variation that you're comfortable with. Really enjoy this deep stretch called Dragon, as we target the hip flexors and the hip socket. Today's practice is all about giving some love into our hips as we improve our flexibility and increase our range of motion.
very slowly, releasing yourself out of the posture and coming back onto your hands and knees. Knees slightly behind the hips, hands shoulder width apart and fingers spread wide. Pressing your hands into the mat, tuck your toes under and on an inhale, lift the knees off the floor and exhale as you straighten the legs as much as comfortable. Relax your head between your arms and direct your gaze through your legs or towards your belly button as you enjoy this lovely stretch in Downward Facing Dog. Inhaling and exhaling deeply. You can keep the knees bent to avoid stress on the hamstrings. We want to keep the spine nice and lengthened. Hold in this counter pose for two more slow, deep breaths. back onto your hands and knees, moving into a gorgeous posture called Sleeping Swan. From all fours, slide your left knee forwards behind your left wrist. You can lean a bit to the side to check how your knee feels. If the knee's okay, then you can move the foot forwards. Centre yourself so your weight is even. and Keep the weight back into your hips as you slowly walk your hands forward, lowering down in stages. You can come down onto your elbows or lying completely over your left leg. All our tissues need to be exercised so that we can achieve optimal health. In Ying, as we hold these postures for longer, putting pressure on the connective tissues, it can lead to healthier joints and hydration in the fascia. But remember, always work within your range of limits and abilities. You're looking to find your edge, stretch to your maximum without overstretching. Very slowly, push yourself up with your hands and come back onto all fours. Counter pose in with child's pose before we repeat on the other side. Bringing your seat back to your heels, slowly folding forward, bringing your chest to your thighs and your forehead to the mat or on a blanket with your arms stretched forwards. This is a super gentle forward fold which is perfect way to relax and release tension in our necks and back. Coming back up onto all fours and repeating sleeping swan on the other side. Sliding your right knee forwards behind your right wrist 
Remember to center yourself so your weight is even. Keeping the weight back into your hips. And then slowly walking your hands forward into the variation for you today. Don't become impatient. Move slowly. Find your edge and come into stillness. And if you'll notice your attention is not on your breath, gently guide it back. Very slowly, pushing yourself back up and coming back into child's pose. Really enjoy this comforting, restful pose, which can help to calm the mind and body. Let's our nervous system give our body permission to slow down. Using your hands to push yourself up into kneeling. Place your hands on the floor in front of you as you curl your toes under and lifting your knees, coming up onto your fingertips and begin to straighten your legs so you come into a standing forward fold. Walking the feet out about hip width apart, feet can be turned out slightly. Squat down with your arms out in front of you for counterbalance. Knees tracking in the same direction as the toes. And when you're all the way down, place your hands in the prayer position, applying gentle pressure from your elbows into the knees to solidify and ground the pose. This squat posture can be quite difficult due to tightness in the hips, knees and ankles. If your heels don't touch the floor, you can support them with a folded blanket or blocks. You can also widen the distance between the feet and you can turn the feet out further. In this posture, apart from increasing hip mobility, it can also strengthen the ankles and offering relief to lower back pain. If you're finding your balance difficult, you can always place your fingertips back on the floor in front of you.
Well done everyone, you're doing amazing. To come out of this posture, just sit down and then slowly straighten the legs out in front of you. I'm gonna counterpose with Caterpillar. Sitting up nice and tall so the spine is lengthened. If your hamstrings are tight, you can keep the knees bent or you can place a bolster or blanket under the knees. Inhaling as you reach the arms up towards the sky and exhaling as you fold forwards. You can experiment with your hand positions. You can clasp around the feet, resting on your legs. But there's no need to pull or push. Let gravity do the work. As you keep your focus on the breath, long, slow inhalations and long, slow exhalations. Remaining in Caterpillar for a couple more breaths. Slowly, use your hands to push yourself up. Be mindful of your spine and lower back. We want to bring the soles of our feet together, letting your knees fall out to the sides so you make a diamond shape with your legs. Come to lie down onto your back, relaxing your head and shoulders down onto the mat. Your arms can either be in cactus or you can take the arms overhead, grabbing opposite elbows or wrists. Take whichever is more comfortable for you as we allow gravity to open the hips. If at any time this does get too intense, you can place some blocks or cushions under the knees for support and this will stop you from overstretching. Allow yourself to relax as deeply as possible. There's no need to support yourself right now. Let the floor support you. Focusing your tension back on the breath and how the body moves with each inhalation and each exhalation. Bringing your hands to the outside of your knees and gently lift them back to centre. Taking your arms out into a T position, shoulder height. Drawing both knees in towards your chest, we want our shins parallel with the floor. Exhaling as you slowly lower your legs over to the right and looking over to your left as we remain here for five slow, even deep breaths.
Inhale in, draw the legs back to centre. Exhale in, legs over to the left, head looking over to the right. Inhaling, drawing the legs back to centre and hugging your knees into your chest. A little rock side to side which helps to massage the back. Well done everyone, you've been working really hard today. Finishing today's practice in Shavasana, extending your legs along the mat. Bring your feet about hip width apart and letting your feet fall open on either side. Bring your arms alongside your body, slightly away from your torso, palms facing upwards and letting your fingers softly curl in. Tuck your shoulder blades into your back for your support and make any fine adjustments so you're completely comfortable. Closing the eyes and letting your body relax. Do try not to skip Shafasana. It will help to in integrate the work you've done in the class so you can absorb the benefits before continuing with your day or evening. Feel your body as it begins to get heavy, letting it sink into the floor. Imagine a gentle wave of relaxation flowing through the body, soothing and comforting every part of your body. Let your breath occur naturally. Allow yourself to become lighter and lighter as you sink deeper and deeper into a relaxed state. Begin to deepen your breath. Wiggle your toes. And then your fingers as we slowly reawaken our bodies. Stretching your arms overhead for a last full body stretch from hands to feet. Rotate the wrists and ankles one way and then the other way. Bending your knees, feet flat on the floor, rolling over onto one side. And slowly using your hands to push yourself up into a comfortable seat of your choice. Well done everyone for joining me in this class today. Having flexible mobile hips is really important for overall health and mobility. Resting your hands softly on your knees, rolling your shoulders back and down. Bring your palms together in front of your heart space. Thumbs up to your third eye. And bowing forwards, whisper Namaste. Thank you for joining me today. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. It's all free. I put out new videos on a regular basis. 